as soon as it became clear that we were going to have to close our doors to the public, our very first thought was, what are we going to do with the animals? I didn't sleep that night once we realized that COVID-19 was very real. This year, Hawaiian shelters were thrust into a COVID-19 crisis. With that pandemic, a lot of the ability to transfer animals to the mainland has been curtailed. We ended up with a lot of overcrowding. We weren't willing to euthanize for space, but we had to find a way to get our animals off the island. This unprecedented situation required an unprecedented response. That's why Greater Good Charities partnered with the John R. Peterson Foundation and Wings of Rescue to launch Paws Across the Pacific, the largest single pet rescue flight in history. The enormity of this flight and how it helps our community is just never been done before. On October 28th, we flew a Hercules C-130 aircraft from Oakland, California to the Hawaiian islands of Kauai, Oahu, Maui, the Big Island of Hawaii, and finally back to Seattle, Washington, picking up nearly 600 pets from six shelters along the way. This flight is such an incredible opportunity because not only do pets like Foxy get to go find amazing forever families on the mainland, but it also means that the kennel that she once occupied, we are now able to fill with another animal in need from our community. With this scale of an operation, the safety, health, and comfort of pets on the flight was our top priority. Our team of experts worked closely with the Hawaii Veterinary Medical Association to ensure a smooth journey for all pet passengers. These animals are being checked constantly. It's not about the number of animals on the flight, it's about the number of animals safely on the other side. I'll be joining them for the last leg of this journey in order to ensure their comfort and safety as we make the trek across the Pacific. After a full day of tirelessly loading nearly 600 pets, our team's final stop was Hilo International Airport, where the remaining dogs and cats were loaded for their long journey home to the Pacific Northwest. On arrival in Seattle, these loving pets were carefully unloaded with a mobile veterinary unit standing by for safety. They're doing remarkably well. Anybody who's ever taken a red-eye flight knows it's kind of exhausting, it's a little tiring. They're just like us, they want a snack when they got here, but they're doing amazingly well. 24 hours later, the largest pet airlift in history is successfully completed. Nearly 600 lives saved. That's 600 tails, 600 wet noses, and 2,400 paws flown to freedom across the Pacific. This is Hilo, my little puppy who, uh, who came off the flight and who is going home with me to Tucson. He's hungry. We just gave him some food and I think he wants some more. I'm so hungry. Oh. This has been a long day for this little baby. Yes, I know. 70 of them have already been pre-adopted, so they're going to be on somebody's couch by the end of the night. Um, the average length of stay for a pet transported by Wings of Rescue is like three and a half days. When I think about 600 animals moving towards loving homes that have been in cages and might have been sitting waiting for adoption while another one was waiting to be saved, it just brings me so much relief and joy. I used to dream about a plane coming here, filling it up with animals and it taking them to homes on the mainland. And so this is actually a dream come true for me. Um, this is such an incredible operation to know that so many of our pets that have been overlooked for a long time are getting this amazing chance.